Hey, what is up? Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf. Today I've got a pretty special video for you. We're out here with one of our local pros, Joe Carey, and we're gonna have a little one-on-one -on -one and go over some Q&A that you guys had in the local Tulsa Disc Golf page. Let's get into it. Let's do it, Jacob. I'm excited. All right, kicking it off straight into hole one, we've got a 280 foot par three no real OB to speak of, pretty much just a tunnel. You want to play as straight as you can to get yourself a look at the basket. I'm going to go Pathfinder off the tee, backhand today. Usually I'm a forehand guy, but with the wind, it's a little weird. So we're just going to play the backhand, see if I can get it up there close. Oh, get off the tree. Off. Before we let Joe throw here, we're going to do a little intro. Joe, if you want to say a few words, how long have you been playing disc golf for? Hello everyone, I'm Joe. I've been playing for, this is my 10th season. Um, started when I was 14 or 15. My dad got lucky and my dad got me into it and fell in love ever since. Awesome. And so, Awesome. What would you say your biggest strength is? Definitely my sidearm or my putting. I don't know, it's hard to, depends on the day, but definitely my sidearm. It gets me into places that I, I can agree with that this dude has a nasty sidearm you'll see it firsthand and on plenty of holes today i appreciate that I all right well let him throw. hopefully i live up to the hype I'm going a little flex sidearm here at the justice on hole one get up there if it misses it's good it's parked we'll take that oh you saw it coming at the end it's underneath the bucket let's go take that on hole one i don't know how much you guys can see me on the camera but i don't have a great shot I think I gotta go skip around the trees, got my zone. See if I can do something, some shenanigans. Oh, that's so wide. That's a huge putt. You know what? We sink that, it's the start of a great round. Great putt. Joe with the absolute park job. Tap in birdie. We'll take that on Love to see one. We're here at hole two at Blackhawk. Most people are gonna throw a stock hyzer to the Mando tree and then another stock hyzer and hopefully have a putt for three. This is a hole where I try to get a little aggressive. I throw a four and roller off the tee. So we shall see what happens. Now that does bring us to our first question. Can you explain how you throw forehand rollers? So I started looking at like good backhand roller players and I realized that they take a destroyer or they take something that used to be overstable, it might not be overstable anymore. And they throw it really hard and they flip it into a roller. And so I just started throwing a sidearm really hard with disc until I figured out which disc I liked that would flip into a roller. And now I've just figured it out, honestly, off trial and error. Nice, and what are you throwing with a, for your forehand roller today? A boss, a really flat, flippy boss, basically. Okay, cool, cool. And that's not gonna be good. I made the Mando, but it's, I mean, I don't think anyone's ever been there. Yeah, that's a weird spot to be off of a forehand roller and making the Mando with that too, that's crazy. I'm gonna go a more traditional play you'll see most players take on this hole, which is a backhand, like Joe mentioned, Heiser. I'm gonna go with my Emperor and just try to put it, there's a little ditch out there. If you can put it in that, usually you're set up pretty well for a uh, birdie. That might get cut off, we'll see. I think it'll still be decent. Actually, the grass is tall enough now, it just slows it down and it's perfect. Kind of cut off, I don't exactly have the nicest line on the inside of this stuff that you can take. You can kind of see the basket over there, it's behind the tree, but it's pretty much in line with it. Should be before. Good shot. And might be outside the circle, but it's still a putt. We're in a place that's kind of awkward, honestly, I haven't been here ever. Um, really is a straight shot. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen anybody over here. <clears throat> that looks great. Just settle in. Dude, you're underneath the basket again. You literally hit the pole koozie. We parked it again. Oh my god. Ah, oh, so close. And Joe. It looked dead center. Takes another one. <laughs> I'm getting tap-ins today, I guess. Let's go! I can't imagine having to putt at this point. All right, Joe's got me by two, but we're only two holes in, so plenty of holes to play, plenty of holes to get. Hole three is going to be 440 feet or so. Um, pretty much a dead straight tunnel, then breaks off to the right at the end. 
No OB to speak of, other than natural OB. If you find yourself in the right, it's bogey at best. Um, but before we let Joe throw, because it's his box, we're gonna ask the next question, which is from Brandon Cawthorn and that is, how have you improved your backhand game? Well, Brandon, um, you're one of the main reasons why, I would say. I've asked you so many questions, played so many rounds, done field work with you. Um, constantly watching videos, just practicing, putting it in the grind, asking the right people the questions. I mean, when you play with people who are better than you, you're forced to learn things that you don't normally do. And every time I play with people like you or Scott or Braden or it, the list can go on forever. It's just like, wow, I need to be able to throw that shot in. So just practicing really. Oh, I turned it a bit, folks. But Still getting some good ground play. She'll be in the middle, just left side. All right, Joe's not in that bad of a spot. Really, if you can get up to that double tree right there, either just in front of it or just past it, you got a pretty open look at the basket. So that's kind of my ideal play is just try to play something that'll flip up towards that tree, maybe push into the middle of the fairway. We're gonna go with a flippy emperor and uh, try to push the corner. Just get That's past a great it. Shot. Great shot. All right. Should have a I should have like an open look at the basket. Might be able to jump up. We'll see. I'm gonna go with the justice. And we left it inside, but I actually got the luckiest kick in the. Whoa! Oh, hit another tree. <laughs> Second tree, but that first one was very helpful. I usually like to run the putt if I'm this close, but there's a couple of trees right in the way. And uh, so we're just gonna play a little touchy up shot, take our three, put the pressure on Joe to make his putt. That's a great shot. Great shot. All right, we got about a 20, I'd say 20 footer. Oh no. Oh, the bad putt, ladies and gentlemen. I was only making a comment, guys. I really did put the pressure on him. I literally just didn't swing across, swing up. All right, we're here, hole four at Blackhawk. Um, Jacob just took a stroke back. I couldn't make a 20 footer. You can, you see people throw a straight backhand shot and then a hyzer into the green, or some people will throw a sidearm off the tee, try to press it around the corner. I do neither, I throw a forehand roller and it's Jacob's box. This, there's a little bit more headwind than I'd like. So we're gonna go MD3. Just try to put it down the middle. That is plenty. Is that good backhand straight shot. That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. But we live our life on the line sometimes. It's pretty good. Honestly, it's still in a great spot. Yeah. All right, we're pretty much in an ideal spot. I'm gonna go Quake, second shot. We're gonna put it on a little ante out of the hand and have it fade back in towards the basket. Oh, I pulled it. It's a good kick. That's still fine from there, I can par. I think I'm gonna go just this backhand. Just, I know it's gonna go left. I'm just trust my frisbee here. <clears throat> Get in there. That's great. Another tap in. This guy's not having a putt today. Uh, which is a good thing. If you, if you guys skipped hole three, I'm glad, but I don't think we want a putt today. Oh, that's so weak. Skip forward okay you know what we're gonna do the opposite of joe we are gonna putt today oh really bad all right get our bogey out of the way that way we can have a great rest of the round Fuck it. i don't really know what putting is right now kind of <laughs> foreign <laughs> He's too good. He doesn't have to putt. All right, Joe's got me by three, but that's nothing. Still have plenty of holes to play. Hole five, 560 feet, uh, breaks the corner to the left and then pretty much straight down a tunnel, about another 200 feet or so to the basket. Um, two shot hole, par four. You wanna beat those trees that are right there. And then there's another set on the left. So you want something that's a fast speed disc, wide rim, skip th straight through there and then play your up shot. I will not be throwing what Jacob described, sadly. Still be aggressive on this hole as well. Throw a high panning sidearm. 
Thanks to our local legend, Devin Owens, he showed me one day and he actually toed this hole with a rock. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to track that, guys, but um, it kinda went straight and then it's back by those trees. It came out of pan and it's in a perfect spot, actually. All right, we are gonna do the shot I described. I've got my more stable imper. We're gonna try to just break that corner, see if I can get a skip over towards the green. That's it's pretty much great, perfect. Folks. As long as it doesn't hit that second set of trees, it you did not, great, we're in a great folks. spot. My T-Bird 3, straight shot, kind of like hole 2. I think it's a tad farther than that. These limbs in front of me are kind of bothering me now. Got to forget about them. They're a little long and left, I think. But... A little left, but you should have a putt from there. She's up there. Sit. It's not underneath the bucket, but that's a great spot to putt from. I feel confident in that. No. That's However, tough. very good bid. And that, that does bring us to our next question of the day. When you're putting, do you focus on breathing in or out? And if you had one putting tip, what would it be? When I'm putting, I focus on breathing out, and I think it keeps you like more relaxed, more calm. I think it's easier to control like when you breathe out. Um, my one putting tip would be, like, obviously to break a bad habit, you're going to have to do something uncomfortable, so this kind of breaks a standard, but most of all, be comfortable. Like, if you step up to a putt and it feels bad, like you are telling yourself this probably isn't going in, literally step off. Find a comfort space, step back on and be like, all right, this putt is going in and putt. I like that. For those for those of us that have had that thought where it's like, okay, absolutely no shot I make this putt. Step I think off. it's 99% mental. Once you know how the disc comes out of your hand at that point, it's like, do you want to do it or do you not? Yeah, for sure. Buckets. Great Love putt. it. Hole six. We got it's pretty much two shots. You're going to throw right or you're going to throw left. I mean, everyone can do it different ways, but there's there's two lines. Heiser line, sidearm line, or Heiser backhand, lefty sidearm. And most people are looking to get the two here, but on this left line, this V-tree likes the Dikembe Mutombo a lot of shots, and you have like a 40-footer. The next question that we have, what is your favorite course in Tulsa, and what is your favorite tournament of the year? So my favorite course is a toss up. It, it's so tossed up, but I'm gonna have to go with my home course, Hunter Park. It's just, it's my love. I used to walk there when I was a kid. That's why I started playing. But my favorite tournament of the year is LO. That's why Blackhawk is so close to being my favorite. I love, I love playing a tournament here. It just feels fair. It feels just, I don't know. It just yeah. brings like the energy. It's like for, the best tournament of the year that we have to offer for the pros. and. Yeah, for the non-locals, OO is Oklahoma Open, which yeah. is three rounds at Blackhawk usually. Sometimes they switch it up, so. And for any TDs out there watching, keep it three rounds at Blackhawk for if it matters at all. All right, I used to be fond of the backhand route. It is there. I've gotten plenty of birdies from that side, but I have been liking the sidearm better. So we're gonna take this left gap. I'm gonna go fireball, a little overstable, put a little bit of flex on it and try to beat the last tree, either in front of or behind. Yep. It's a great shot. Thank you. I throw a summer and I try to beat it early. It's the only reason I throw a summer. I love this. Dude, that's insane. Oh. Did it get caught up? No. Yeah, it was so I missed good. it. That'll do. We'll take our three and move on. That's left. All right, still two back of Joe. We have hole seven here, 300 feet, par three. Again, no OB to speak of unless you go super long into the pond. Um, I like to throw a mid range here. We're gonna go Pathfinder and just try to throw it dead straight down the gap. That's about 100 feet off the tee and it's only about eight feet wide. So I'm gonna try to make it as big as possible. Get off of it. Mm. That actually 
although it kicked, it's not in the worst spot. I should have a little hyzer in from there. All right, before we let Joe throw his shot and explain it, uh, we got another question here. And that question is, who is your favorite pro tour player and why? So my favorite pro tour player, is it just anyone that has a tour card? I mean, I say, why not? My favorite pro tour player is GT Hancock. He is like a mentor to me. He's like a brother. He, I don't know, I just root for him hard. He's not one of the, may not be looked at as one of the best players in the world, but uh, he has a high respect for the game and I appreciate how he's chased his dream for so long and finally made it. So that's awesome. That's my favorite pro. Oh, that looks great. It didn't Could flip. Be a circle two look long and right. Yeah, it didn't look like it flipped all the way, but also like didn't look like it was going to be in a bad spot because it's pretty open back on the right side. Oh, I love the touch in that. You threw that so soft and so good. Sit under it. Hit your head. Yes. <laughs> For a huge birdie, cue the cinematic music. Don't do it. No. Corner pocket chatter. Before Joe gets into entering hole eight here, got a question from Gavin Austincop and Poppy. What is your best ace, most memorable moment on the course? My best ace, you're looking at it. I threw a sidearm over the water on Anheuser and it just panned and it was, it was dead center. It was dead center over the top of everything, and I don't know how it went in. It was lucky, but it was by far my best ace. Love but it. there's a secret shot that no one knows about that Pappy wants me to mention, and I think he didn't tell me this, but we're both thinking about it. So if anyone's ever played Hunter Park, they know that there's a one tree up there by the pink basket in the parking lot. He parked right to the right of it. And we're eating lunch, and I was throwing disc one-handed out of this passenger window, like all of our disc out of our bag. And I got one of them to pan, and it literally went in the pink basket from out of his car in the parking lot. And I actually think that's the greatest shot I've ever thrown. That's freaking hilarious, and also <laughs> awesome at the same time. All right, why not? What if it went in today? It's panning. No, it's OB, folks. Or it's long. It's safe, I think. I don't know. Technically, I think you are safe. I don't know that uh, I'm gonna play that OB today. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with a more traditional hyzer over the water backhand. Again, got the yellow emperor. I'll do my best to uh, track this in post. Oh, that might be really easy to track. Oh, just kidding. Oh, oh. I got that. way further up there. I was saying that as a joke because I totally thought I was hitting that limb and going straight into the water. Ah, oh, this is a weird play here. I'm gonna just have to give it a spin here. Oh my God, it might do it. That was a great up shot. I wanna jam this one for a two. This would be a big two. No matter who you are, this two on this hole always feels good. And today's no exception. That feels extremely good to get that one today. Good putt. Thank you. Alrighty, hole nine. Just one back of Joe now. 410 feet. Uh, we've got pawns on the left and right that are playing OB. So don't find yourself in one of those. And usually you're in a pretty good spot. I'm gonna go pro boss, new addition to the bag. Oh, come out of it. No. I said it's a flippy machine. My play is to just throw it into the trees above the basket. Carry. That should be really good. Just a little right. Yeah. In the trees by the basket. Don't make the mistake I made. Threw too flippy of a disc. We're on the drop zone. About 250 feet. And the zone goes down. Nice. All right, tap in, tap in bogey. Got a little gap putt. That is a massive birdie. Before we get into hole 10, 
got a great birdie by Joe in the last one. I got an unfortunate bogey. But next question is, who is your favorite mentor in disc golf? Um, it's got to be probably Brandon Cawthorn or Kyle Wilkes, Eric Rainey. There's just a lot of old, I'd call them old, but there's a lot of older men in Tulsa that have been along the game, been around the game for a long time, and they've passed on what to do and what not to do down to like me and Scott and us younger players. So really just appreciate all the the local the local pros that have been around forever. Awesome. Um, hole 10, it's a right to left headwind today. It's really normally you want to throw a shot that clears the water um, with a backhand hyzer is what most people will throw. Or you can throw a safe shot down the left side and play for your three. I'm personally going to throw a sidearm that hopefully pans all the way to the bucket on the backhand line. Oh no. It's OB because it didn't get stable. I threw it so good. With the headwind, I'm going to go with the most stable disc I have in the bag right now, which is a Royal Rive. That flipped more than I wanted it, and it's dropping. No! We both did the thing. We both threw out of bounds, unfortunately. It happened. Tough win for this hole. You don't see it that much, but I'm going to go justice from the White Hawk pad and hopefully secure my bogey. If it skips, it's going to be good. Oh. oh my, it's got a really unlucky tree kick off the skip. All right, we're going to do similar ideas. Joe, fireball. Back door? Yeah, back door was a play, folks. It's a wide open circle two look. Go through our team, lock it down. Bang. Let's yeah. go. Good bogey save. Thank you. All right, hole 11, 270 feet. Slight left to right. You can go backhand turnover or forehand here. I prefer the forehand line, uh, but it's just box. Let's see what he does with it. Like Jacob said, I also prefer the sidearm line. I'm going with the justice. Maybe a tad inside, but oh no, it's oh my god. I got a crazy skip. I think that skipped like seven times, but it's a look. I'm going to go a little bit of a faster disc. Dismania Vanguard. Turn the wrist a little bit. Mm. And that's the result. That's going to fade a little bit. But we'll hit that putt. No worries there. Great putt. Great putt. Thank you. All right, as Joe continues to pull ahead, we have the next question, which is, what is your most memorable win? Man, my most memorable win is probably Blue Flame 47. It's my first B tier. Um, I played with two of my great disc golf friends, real life friends, um, all day. I played with Newport and Scott all day long. Um, I didn't miss. I, I don't think I'll like it was so weird like to putt like that and just be like every time it left your hand you're just like it's going in it's going in like I never felt that again since that day it was like chasing the feeling yeah it was so weird but I'll never forget that day there was uh, some controversy at the end makes it even better kind of like that I like the I'm an athlete that kind of likes the fire so it was fun it was the most memorable win by far hole 12 uh hole 12 is a straight hole it's a two shot hole. Most people will elect to try to throw the same disc twice on a hyzer that finishes, that maybe flips up flat and finishes kind of in the wood chips if you can see them up there. Um, this is a hole that gets me in trouble with my backhand sometimes. So in the OO I played this like aggressively but safe. Like I'm gonna throw a roller and get as far as I can down there and pitch out, pitch up and take a four is my goal. <sighs> They cut left. And folks, that was not my best. You want to finish miss on the right, but we'll be all right. We're on the far left rough. Blackhawk. That's too hyzer. Kick right. Honestly, it might be far enough where it's okay. Yeah, we'll have to see when we get up there. Hey, 
I'm in the wood chips. I'm just gonna rip shit here. It's pretty good. It's gonna be a four. I like the shot a lot, guys. Yeah, that's still a putt. Might be just outside the circle. I will take it. I liked it. it. Was too wide. Good putt. Thank you. I'll be slightly out of frame. Sorry about that. Oh no. Now I won't be out of frame. No. Taking a quick double. All right, a little intro to hole 13 here. It's about 340 feet. Um, so pick your poison hole. You got a forehand on the left-hand side, you got a backhand on the right-hand side. I'm just lining the, the camera up so you guys can kind of see the basket through all the trees in the middle. The only line you don't want to take. Uh, it's Joe's box, let's see what he does. Kind of a bonus hole, but kind of a hole you want to get playing this course. If it skips, it's great. It might be massive. No. Oh, that's like the last thing. You just got to beat the last little bit of trees and you're like home free. Would have been circle one, but circle two is all right. We got to look. All right, I'm going to try to execute on a little play that Taylor Noriega and I have been cooking up, which is a slightly overstable fairway on a flex. Right hand gap, widening up the fairway as much as possible and letting it skip in at the end to the basket. We've both gotten a handful of birdies that way, so see if I can execute. Oh, I like this one. I really oh. love that. If that fades in right. Now. He's parked, folks. Yeah, I'm underneath the basket, basically. We found ourselves hitting the last guardian tree. Puts us like 45-ish with a gap putt. I'm just going normal straddle here. The bonus putt and I yanked it. It's all right. All right, before we get into hole 14's intro, and another question for Joe. What is your favorite disc right now? My favorite disc right now is my Justice. I just, every time I throw it, I know exactly what it's gonna do. If the holes, if the shot is under like 325, I typically, I know I'm gonna have a putt. If it's a tee shot, I know I'm gonna have a good chance at birdie. And it's just really consistent and I've been throwing it for six or seven years it's been a go-to in my bag for a long time so i can't think of a forehand player that doesn't love a justice so yeah it's a go-to <laughs> you know what it's doing every time playing a par five that you really want to throw a backhand flexing shot that holds turnover and it'll let you finish in the fairway where you can pitch something around the corner and then throw an upshot and get a four for a birdie hopefully or you can try and throw something that gets all the way around the corner off the tee gives you a shot for eagle or you can literally pitch my justice like a sidearm off the tee throw a backhand around the corner pitch something up like you, you can play this hole so many different ways it's really more so about executing instead of throwing the right shot we luckily got the flippy boss back we had a uh, bystander by with a fishing pole that literally just ripped it out i don't know how you do that but i'm gonna try to break the corner and uh, by that, I mean, I'm probably going to show you how to play the hole in the worst way possible. He said he was going to try to do it in the worst way possible, but he really threw a great shot. <laughs> All right, Timmy, I squared that tree as hard as I could. It was a direct 15 foot kickback, so you can't complain. I did that pretty good. Another roller for your boy here. We do try to get it around the corner. You know, we're being aggressive. <laughs> nope. That yeah, actually, my friends is fine that, now. that's pretty uh, good for, if you go over to the left, it is straight thorn jail. All right, I'm kind of tucked away here. I just need something that gets around the corner. I'm probably going to throw another roller just, and we'll take that all day. It's going to roll off into the woods, but like. Yeah, it's a little off in the woods, but you can pitch out and then get up and down for your par pretty easy. To the right of me is the corner. I'm going to try to cheat that. We're going to go quake forehand down this imaginary fairway um, and just try to pitch out there and maybe have an up and down for a birdie. <gasps> Hit the invisible one. Sit. Sit. 
<clears throat> Justice once, pretty good. All right, we're a bit cut off. Basket's up there, probably about uh, 280-ish. We're gonna go back in, turn over MD3. Uh, probably try to stretch the fairway out as far as I can get it to go. Stable. Honestly, that's probably as good as I could have asked. It was such a weird shot. That's gonna be inside and right. Good little roll. Par. Come in. Skip Very good bid. Top. Good putt. Thank you. Tap in my six. Nice. Took a couple sixes on the last hole showing you not how to play hole 14. Hole 15 is gonna be 360 feet. Pretty much a dead straight shot. It opens up on the right at the end. So if you throw something that'll flip over a little bit, it's kind of the ideal shot where you can play what Taylor and I again have cooked up. A back end flex. So this time I'm gonna go with the instinct. Off. That would have been so good. It would have been. Still up That's there. so unfortunate. <laughs> All right, to pester Joe a little bit more before he gets to throw his shot, I'm gonna ask him the next question, which is, what is your favorite course outside of Oklahoma? My favorite course outside of Oklahoma is probably De La Viega. I have a one of my best friends, Ezra, lives like walking distance how I used to walk to Hunter to Day Law and I got the opportunity to stay like two and a half weeks with him and I walked to Day Law like every day and definitely the best course outside of Oklahoma I've played. Park. Totally parked the shot. We got the camera by the basket probably about 100 feet or so out. We're gonna try to do a little throw in. Cue the cinematic music. Do it. Buckets. No! <laughs> Here we are, hole 16 at Blackhawk. Um, it's really straightforward. You wanna throw a straight shot, whether it's highs or flip, flex, some way, about 280. A lot of gel in between. Really hit your gap and hope for a putt. That's, that's what you want to do here. I'm throwing my element, kind of for anyone that hasn't thrown gateway element, it, it kind of flies like a, my old meteor, but it feels way better. Speed everything. Yeah, I mean. I got the inside line, it's gonna be like 40 left. Honestly, we'll call it lucky. We're gonna go fuse. Um, Heiser flip style. Uh, if I hit it right, it should just go dead straight and then fade right at the end. Nasty. I no. just needed it to beat that last tree. Drop. It's too far. It did the lifty thing instead of the droppy thing. <laughs> yeah. Cash. Buckets. Pull 17. 640 foot par four, uh, jail left, jail right, no OB though. Um, you have the, those logs down the distance. You really wanna play to those. If you can get down to those pretty much just dead straight, you leave yourself with a pretty easy hyzer into the basket. Uh, but it's Joe's box, let's see what he does with it. I'm gonna throw a roller and it's gonna go to the right of this very first tree. Might be hard to track, but uh, I'll try to give you a little narration. Oh, I can see it. Oh, too much cut. We're not as crazy as Joe. We're gonna go with our flippy emperor. Um, probably have a hyzer flip up a little bit. If it fades off at the end, that's okay. Just don't want it to fade off too much. This is one I have to convince myself to throw hard. Um, also probably a four at best. I got fortunate that it didn't go super far into the woods on the right, cause that's just giga jail. As long as that doesn't go all the way into the stuff on the left, and even then, I might still have a look. I think it probably got out, it probably went out of frame on the camera, but I should be able to get up and down for a four. No. If it didn't hit that, it would have been so good. Mm. 
Oh boy. Oh, we might be getting one here. We are definitely giving one here. Pretty good. Well, it just, it turned out to be a very good approach shot, but it was a great I did approach. try to run that, believe it or not. Good putt. Thank and you. that brings us to our last question of the round. As somebody that plays a lot of disc golf and golf, what would you say is harder uh, to putt in? Man, I think they both have their own difficulties. Um, ball golf, I feel there's a lot more uncontrollable factors. Like, did someone just step on my putt line? Is, are the green surfaces even good? Um, you can build a good stroke. Like, once you have a good stroke and you hit the ball, you, you can't do anything else about it. Obviously, it's the same thing when you release the putter. But this motion is so much more controllable than this motion, I think. So I would personally say ball golf is way harder to putt in, in my personal opinion. But I'm also a pro in this, so I feel like that should be my answer. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. Here we are. Hole 18 at Blackhawk. Um... It's really a sidearm off the tee that's a placement or a backhand turnover that's a placement. You might not be able to see it, but there's a big log laid down over there. If you can push like pin high with that, like you don't have to be next to it, just as deep as that, you should have a straight shot into the green. Obviously the farther right you go, the closer you are. Um, so yeah, I would just like to say thank you to Jacob for having me on the channel. It's been a phenomenal time today and I appreciate the exposure and yeah, everyone go like and subscribe and give this man a follow on all the social media platforms. He's he's doing great things for Tulsa, so. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, dude. There are a couple options on this hole. You can go back in turnover uh, as a righty, or you can go forehand, um, just little hyzer flip forehand. I'm gonna go with my flippy emperor on a forehand and try to put it down this line in the middle. Usually it'll skip over to the log that Joe mentioned in the whole intro. I rolled my wrist, but not the worst result. I'm still up there, I can get a four. I'm going Nuko S, gonna try to flare it around the corner. Should be pretty good. Oh, oh no. It did get pin high with the log like I talked about, so I should just have a longer straight shot into the green, but should be okay. Okay, my lie's right here. Basket's up there, probably about 350. Uh, we have a little bit of a headwind. I'm gonna go with this flippy boss. See if I can put it flat, give it enough height, have it finish out, fade towards the basket. I've got nothing to lose at this point, so it's all for fun. Oh yeah. Dude, did I execute it? I think you did. Oh my gosh, folks. That will be the best shot you'll ever watch <laughs> from there, whether you're on YouTube or in live person or whatever it is. I promise you, that, looked, that was way harder than he made it look. I did, it's actually parked. Might miss it. This is the position, but that is up by the basket. And this is probably the craziest shot I've ever thrown. Uh, about, I'd say 45 feet to the basket. A little stepper. If I can birdie this, that'd be the best birdie I've ever had at this course in my life. Great way to finish. Oh, do it. No! It's disappointing, but that's disc golf. All right, oh well, let Joe finish it out. Good putt. Thank you. Way to finish. I do want to give Joe a very quick shout out. I appreciate you coming on the channel, man. Dude, I appreciate you having me. It's been a blast. This is one of our top talents here in town. Um, if you see him on the course, just give him a shout. He loves to talk. He's a great friendly guy. I again really appreciate him coming on the channel. If you would like to see more of this content, be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.